All right, guys. Ever since this mall shooting, I've seen every single person on YouTube talking about 40-yard shots, 40-yard shots. And I realized the other day that I have never practiced that far. I've never used my pistol that far. I don't know what I can do at 40 yards. So I've set this target up right here. I'm gonna show y'all what my results are. I've never shot my pistol this far. I have shot at one deer with my 45 ACP and I missed it at 40 yards, didn't hit it at all. But that was before I lined my sights up really good on it. So it might've just been the sights were off and I shot over its back. But today I'm gonna set, I got this target set up. I'm gonna step back to 20. I'm gonna use my 22 Magnum PMR 30 first. I'm gonna try to see if I can hit the targets at 20, 30, 40, and 50. Then I'm gonna switch to my 45 ACP, go 20, 30, 40, and 50, and just see what my results are. This is raw, I've not practiced this, I've never done it before. I'm bringing y'all with me, y'all can see what happens here, and we can learn together. All right, guys, that was free-handed. I wasn't leaned up against anything. My 30-yard shots ended up here and here. My 20 was pretty bad, but I haven't shot this gun in a while. My 30-yard shots ended up here and here. That's not bad. Let's see, 20, 30, 40. That was my 40-yard shot. This was my 50-yard shot. I shot four times. One, two. I hit one here, three. One down here, four. So I'm hitting in about a eight inch group at 40. No, let's see. Let me get this right. I went 20, 30, 40, and 50. Okay, so in a, at a 50 yard shot, I'm hitting in about an eight inch group with this kel PMR-30. That's off-handed with no rest and not really taking my time. I'm gonna go back I don't know how many more rounds I've got. I've only got a couple more rounds. I'm going to go back to 50 and put the rest of them on this target. Then I'm going to switch to my 45. This thing's got a light trigger. So at 50, with the last three rounds, two of them hit here. I was aiming here, two of them hit here. And it looks like one, I think one was down into the left. This thing's got a little bit of a hair trigger. It's easy to squeeze it before you mean to. Uh, I really like this gun, it's got a really nice trigger, but I think I squeezed it off a little bit too soon. I got two on target at 50, taking my time on this target at 50 yards that's not bad i feel like at 50 yards i could definitely hit an active shooter with this now if he had body armor on with this 22 magnum i may be in trouble um that's about the size of my head so i probably maybe could hit a headshot but if he was moving i might be in trouble at 50 with this gun i need to do a little bit more practicing uh, if I was planning on defending myself at a longer range like that with this PMR-30. But I did hit on target at 50 yards. I'm, that's okay. I'm pretty good with that. I'm going to switch to my 45 ACP. I'm going to do the same thing. 20, 30, 40, and 50. Here we go. 
Guys, these shots were all over the place. Um, I've shot that 45 ACP a lot more lately. Uh, a couple videos back, I lined my sights up, and that was at about 15 yards. I missed the target at 20, 30, 40, and 50. Um, I don't know what it is with that gun. Maybe it's just my shooting. I can't blame it on the gun. I'm not a professional pistol shooter. So I'm not 100% sure, but the bullets were just all over the place on this thing. And I really got to do more practicing if I'm going to use it at any yard more than 20 yards. Uh, any, any distance farther than 20. I really got to do a lot more practicing. Um, I talked to a guy and he said that 45, it's really lobbing it in there at 30 and 40 yards. So um, I just need to do a lot more practicing with it if I'm going to ever try to engage anybody or anything at that distance. Um, I really want to kill a deer with it, so I really have to practice with it. I'm going to have to do a lot of practicing with this thing and make it better. So I'm more proficient and I feel better about it. So guys, this is not good results. With my 45 ACP, I don't think I would be doing very well. With practice, I can hit good with that 45 right in here. But I hit here and here at 30, missed the target at 40, missed the target at 50. I hit here at 50 maybe once. But I'm gonna tell y'all, if you're gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, if you're planning on taking shots that far away, you need to practice. That guy in that mall was a daggone good shot. He must have been practicing a lot because I hadn't really practiced at longer ranges with my pistols. And I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't be doing very well at 40 yard shot or 50 yard shot with my 45. I definitely need a lot more practice if I was gonna engage someone at that distance. Um, I don't, I've never really considered even needing to use my gun for that i carry one for close range encounters if someone comes in on me or something at work or if i'm in my car and somebody storms up in my car try to carjack me or something like that but i've never even considered being in a mall or being in walmart and having to take a long shot like that and i definitely need to practice um i think we all probably ought to practice that that range with our guns uh when i get back to 45 40 45 50 yards with this thing my whole sight is covering up that little target. So it's kind of hard to get on target with it. I need to do more practicing. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, that that kid that stopped that mall shooting, he's awesome. And he must have been practicing at the range a lot. And he's dead on. I mean, he's the best shot that I've seen. Um, good for him. I wouldn't be able to do it. I still probably would have tried, but the results might have been different for me. So that's a good FYI for y'all. If you haven't practiced shooting a lot and you think you can hit a target at 40, you might better go set one up and try. All right, guys, I'm gonna go back to 50 again. I'm gonna shoot that bottom right-hand target with my kel PMR-30. I'm gonna put all 15 rounds in that bottom target at 50 yards. I'm just curious. I wanna know what's gonna happen with this particular firearm at 50 and y'all can watch as I do it. This time I took a knee and I put my gun on my hand like this. Here, I'll show y'all. This time when I was shooting, I took a knee and I put my gun like this and I was holding up my gun steady on my hand like this. Let's see what I done. 20 rounds at this target. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten out of 20 on target at 50 yards. 
So at 50 yards, I'm 50% with this Keltec PMR 30 on a small target like that. Y'all be the judge. I'm not professing to be no excellent pistol shooter. I'm better with rifles. But uh, that's not too bad. 10 out of 20 uh, on a head size target at 50 yards when I've never even practiced shooting that far. But I'm going to start practicing at farther distances with my handguns. Like I said, this, this time, let me show y'all again. This time, whenever I went back there, instead of holding it, standing up offhanded, I got down like this and I put my pistol on my hand like this. And I was aiming with my pistol on my hand for support. Seems like it helped a little bit. So if you don't have anything to get behind, very minimum, you can use your knee for support or even lay prone on the ground would probably help. And that would uh, get you out of the the shooter's sight. So he would, might not even see if you were laying down. So I would definitely suggest if you're going to shoot that far and you've never tried it, to at least get some kind of a rest and be rested on something. It'll give you a lot better accuracy as far as being offhanded versus being rested. Now I'm going to load up my Keltec Sub 2000. And I'm going to go ahead and shoot that bottom middle target with 15 rounds. And I'm going to see how much better a rifle does at that range. All right, guys. With this Keltec Sub 2000, I was dead on target. Would have no problem taking down an active shooter at 50 yards with this gun. With my handguns, I would. I would not be able to do it. And actually, if I ever see this situation, like the mall shooter saw, and I'm that far away, I'm either going to need to close distance with a handgun and get a little bit closer to him, which is highly dangerous, or I'm going to need to run away because I'm not that proficient of a shot at 50 yards with my handgun. If I had my rifle, it wouldn't be a problem. But I'm gonna need more practice if I was gonna be like that mall guy that saved the day. I'm gonna need a lot more practice. Um, so if you haven't tried this with your handgun, I urge you to get out and try it. Go find you a range that has 50 yards and try it. And you'll be surprised how hard it is. You know, maybe if you're sitting there taking your time but I also urge you not to sit there and take your time with the gun and try to shoot slowly. Because if, you, if you're engaging an active shooter, you're not going to have time to sit there and aim every time you pull the trigger. You're going to be breathing hard. Your adrenaline's going to be rushing. So I would urge you, if you're going to try this, to just maybe get a little exercise right before you do it. Get your heart pumping and, and get to where you need, you got a little bit of stress on you. And then try to shoot at 50 yards or 40 yards and see if you can hit the target. So I was having problems. I've never practiced at distance. I need to. I urge y'all to do it also because nowadays you never know what's going to happen. And if you're not prepared for everything, the one thing you're not prepared for is probably what's going to happen. So maybe in a couple weeks or maybe this week, I can get some more, maybe this weekend, I'll get some more ammo, do some more practicing at 50 yards, and I'll let y'all know if I improve on my accuracy at that range. But as of this moment, if an active shooter is 50 yards from me and all I have is my handgun, I'm either going to try to get out of dodge or close the distance because I would not feel proficient enough to take him down at that range. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I'm trying to make more gun content. Hit like and subscribe. Appreciate y'all for watching.